Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will talk about the mistakes that people generally do while speaking. First mistake that people usually do is having no opinion. So, you must have your own opinion. You can agree or disagree with the examiner if they have asked for your opinion. But you must have a point to say. You should not be blank, right? So, this is the basic point you must keep in head. Understanding yourself and portraying it in front of others is the only key that will help you score high bands, not in the listening module, in the writing module as well. Moving on to the next point, you must focus upon your grammar. Grammatical order is the one thing that cannot replace anything, right? You cannot score bands if your sentence formation is wrong. Flooding your sentences with so many idioms or phrases or so many big words will be of no use if you don't know how to make proper sentences that may be simple as well. So, be simple and straight when you don't know that how to form simple sentences. Moving on to the next point that is using too many big words. Yes, using idioms, phrases and the very big words will be quite good if they are relevant to the situation. If you don't know their meaning, please don't try to show off. Yes, that will create problem to you if the examiner asks the question that is related to that word. So what will you do? There are specific questions asked in the test. So be focused on that. Choose your words wisely so that it does not create trouble to you. Moving on to the next mistake that is accent. Obviously, we are not from a country with the native language English and examiner understands the same thing. So do not try to copy so much that the examiner is not able to understand. Try to focus on the pronunciation, that you do correct pronunciation of the word, instead of trying to copy the British accent, so that it can be barrier for you, if the examiner will not be able to hear you that what you are saying. Not being on time is a very big mistake that we people generally do. If you are late, the examiner may be waiting for you, or they can move to the next candidate. So, that will obviously put a bad impact on the examiner. To avoid this be on time and obviously when we are late we rush our heart rate increases and we panic and start shivering so to avoid all these things you must be on time even I will advise you to reach the place of examination half hour earlier when your test is to be conducted so that you can calm yourself have a deep breath before going to the examination room the next thing or the mistake I can say we generally think that we can depend upon the examiner. Examiner is just there to judge you. He will not help you with the ideas, cues or suggestions. So do not depend upon the examiner for any of the cue that they will help you in any way. No, they will not do that. The next mistake is being too nervous. Yes, it is the human tendency that we people generally get uh, nervous and when we try to do new things. But you can overcome and you should overcome in the very first part of the speaking section, that is the introduction. The examiner will introduce themselves and then you have to introduce yourself. So be comfortable, be the examiner your friend, right? You just have a conversation with them so that they are able to understand you, what is your viewpoint and something like that. When we are nervous, we usually fumble, shiver, our legs start shivering. So do not do these kind of things overcome your nervousness next comes freezing there is always a way to handle the situation always an answer to every question that may differ according to the person whether you know it or not i will surely make a video on that that how to answer a question that you don't know but do not freeze do not make weird faces like oh what happened i don't know this answer you can simply say to the examiner that i don't know I tried hard to answer it, but I am not able to. So, these are the situations that you need to handle. Do not freeze. The last point we will talk about is the length. Here, length will depend upon the question you have asked for. You need to be specific, you need to be accurate. If you answer the question like yes or no, then you will leave the examiner with a question mark. Obviously, they will go with why. Why so? Why yes? Why not? So, they will ask you that question and in that situation you will get confused most of the people do so so be specific answer your questions in full sentences and if your answer is over length as you have spoken too many ideas then 
you will be left with no ideas if your questions are interrelated so keep this thing in head right you have to answer it in two or three points so that you are left with two to three ideas for the next question i'm talking about the cue card you need to be specific related to the bullet points you have to cover all the bullet points after that you can make story if the examiner doesn't stop you right so that's all about today hope you like this video and subscribe my channel thank you